What up guys, your boy Quake and the ongoing shenanigans between Lil Pump and J. Cole continue. J. Cole was announced as one of the headliners for the Rolling Loud event, which is a major concert event for a lot of artists. And today he performed and of course he performed his new album KOD and he decided to perform the track 1985. And if you've guys kept up with Lil Pump and J. Cole recently, you know that Lil Pump has been very offended by the track, even though J. Cole clearly is not dissing anyone on the track. He's just simply giving the newer artists advice. But Lil Pump did not want to hear that. He went at him on Instagram Live various times. And J. Cole responded to all those disses by simply saying, if the shoe fits, wear it and Lil Pump responded to that by buying a house saying that hey I invest my money in smart things I don't just buy chains and stuff like that cars that depreciate I actually invest in great things and J. Cole never really fed into the sort of beef that Lil Pump was trying to perpetrate and when J. Cole was performing at a different event the crowd started chanting F Lil Pump but he silenced them immediately saying that that's not what this song is about we're not going at newer artists in this song and while j cole was performing today at rolling loud he performed 1985 and lil pump was at the side of the stage and when the song was playing lil pump decided to dance around and when he was dancing around the crowd saw him and slowly started to chant f lil pump which unfortunately means the money's slower now you're scrambling and hoping to get hot again but you forgot you only pop because you was riding trends now you old news and you're going through regrets because you never bought that house but you got a Benz and a bunch of jewels and a bunch of shoes and a bunch of fake friends i ain't judging you i'm just telling you what's probably gonna happen when you rapping about the type of shit you rapping about it's a faster route to the bottom i wish you good luck I'm hoping for your sake that you ain't dumb as you look. But if it's really true what people saying and you call yourself playing with my name, then I really know you fuck. Trust, I be around forever cause my skills is tip top. To any amateur niggas that wanna get rock. Just remember what I told you when your shit flop. In five years you gonna be all of it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Rolling loud. Before we get the fuck out of here, I need everybody to do one more thing for me. Everybody in this motherfucker. Me personally, if I was there, I probably wouldn't just stand around dancing while a crowd screams F me and that there's a diss song possibly going at me being performed. I think Lil Pump handled it perfectly. He didn't, you know, seem like he was aggravated or irritated by anything that was going on. He was just dancing, simply trolling around, not really caring what was going on. The crowd chanting F Lil Pump, though, could plant a seed in Lil Pump's head to start dissing J. Cole more. And who knows if J. Cole is going to respond to that. I highly doubt he will. And I highly doubt this will ever be escalated into an actual beef where diss tracks are flying back and forth. But you never know in this industry. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more. You can support this channel further. Like, comment, share, and definitely, definitely subscribe. I do videos like this daily on hip-hop news and much, much more. So definitely subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. Like us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.